In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the window text of another Windows application. In this case, we're going to use the same example, the Untitled Notepad window, but what we're going to try to do is get the text out of this window. So the first thing that we need to do is find this window, and that's going to be a parent of the Notepad window. Using Spy++, I've already expanded the Untitled Notepad, and I can see that there is a sub-window in there. It's called Edit, and that's going to be this box right here. So what we're going to try to do is capture the text from this text box. So what we can do is do the edit window is equal to find window EX and we're going to use the notepad window. It's going to be zero and ampersand edit and then VB null string. That's just going to get the edit window. Just Something that I do all the time is just to make sure that I'm actually finding the window. So I'm going to do message box, the edit window. And that's giving me a window ha handle. So I'm going to go on and select OK. I'm, I know I'm finding the window. I actually have a function that's written out. It's window get text. And I'm going to just transfer this code over and just explain it to you guys. What you first want to do is. Uh, run send message w window message get text length because what we're going to use is the window message get text and one of the parameters when doing send message by string is identifying how much from the window message get text are we going to get and because the index starts at zero what we're going to want to do is let's just say that this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven characters long the index starts at zero so first we get the text length. In this case it would be 11 characters and we need to add one to it that way we get 12. So here we're going to be getting the first 12 letters or 12 characters of the text from this window. So I'm going to break this down for you. So I've also do message box A and then what I need to do is change it to the change the window. I'm going to hit F5. That's going to give us 31. I was actually 21 plus the lines. The it's counting the the invisible characters we can't see, like the the line feed character char 13 and char 10. So the next thing that we're gonna do is just create like a little buffer. That's the length of a. It's just kind of like a a reserved variable. Then we can do call send message by string. And then it's going to be the edit window. We're going to use, we're going to use window message get text, and we're going to use we can call this the count. That way, the variable makes a little bit more sense. And then we're going to be assigning it to the buffer. So if I was to say message box buffer, we should get what's in the Notepad window. I'm going to go under hit F5. And then we get the text that's in the screen. And if we were to change it out, let's just say just to one, two, three, four, five, hit F5, and that, that text does change. This is a real quick tutorial on how you can get the text from another window. These constants, again, they're ones that I captured from the API viewer. So under constants, we have the the window message get text length and the one get text send message and send message by string were declarations that we also captured from the declarations. That concludes this video though. Thank you for watching.